Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is Geek Part Time, and this is my first review. Uh, I'm gonna do a little comparison on the uh, Monster Turbine Pearls and the Soul Republic amps. Uh, I've had both these headphones for a few months now, so they've both been burnt in and living with them. Uh, I hope I'll give you an honest review on sound quality and build quality. So let's get right into it. I'm doing an un unboxing because you've probably seen a few of those already. Uh, this is the Soul Republic amps. They retail for seventy nine dollars, um, and with that you get the um, three different size tips and the headphones themselves. Headphones themselves look really, really impressed with them. Actually, um, they're really good size, large size, which I like. They look really nice when you wear them. Uh, they got this sort of black gloss finish with the Soul Republic um, symbol there. They got the angle driver like the Beats Tours um, have as well, which I don't mind. Um, sound quality of these isn't that great. For $79 though, I probably would have wanted a little bit more. Probably the same sound quality as what you get with your Apple headphones. Um, bass as well, probably the same with the Apple as well. That The bass isn't really that great in these. Which is surprising, you know, Soul Republic BNX um, Monster um, owner and he sort of ventured off and did his own thing. I thought he put a little bit more emphasis on um, bass sound and me being a bass head I found to, these to be really lacking in bass. The Solo HD, HD apparently have a little bit more bass than these but they, they're around about $120. But for a $79 headphone I still, I still probably would have liked a little bit more bass out of these. The cabling is quite small and flimsy. Uh, they do tangle does come with a tour control which looks really nice. I do like the look of this. Also has the um, Soul Republic um, sign on there. Great for Apple phones. Not sure about Android so you've got to double check with that. Um, the box promotes Apple. Doesn't say much about um, Android phones. So overall the, for what you get for the money it's not too bad. Um, build quality is good. I do like the look of them when you're wearing them. They do look cool. Uh, a lot of people have commented on how good they look whilst I was while I was wearing them, so that's good. Just the lacking in bass and the sound quality isn't that great. So we'll move on to the um, the Monster Turbines, and straight away packaging so much better as you'd expect of Monster. Um, you've probably seen a few Monster unboxings, so you'll know what comes in these. They're um, pretty much the same here, more, and life's too short. To listen to bad headphones. So once you do open them though, they sort of come in that and then you pop them out. Straight away, uh, build quality, phenomenal on these. Really, really good. Quite heavy though, um, so if you find that you just got to be careful because they will bang on stuff. So they're really top heavy. But I've banged them a few times and um, been really rough with them and they've been still great. So. Uh, I found no problem with that at all. Um, different colours for the left and right. Uh, so blue being left, red being right. And just really good design. I mean, you know, the design of them, feel of them is really secure and firm. Uh, I love the build quality of these. They're really good. The best probably in-ear headphone quality I've seen. But where I think Monster do shine is the cabling. I mean, the cable on this is very thick and sturdy you know comparing it to um, comparing it to the solar HC so I think there's a bit of a difference there you know much bigger in in sort of thickness and you can tell just by feeling it it's so much so much better quality um, the splits really nice as well it's got the monster logo on there as well which is really nice it's got the torque control the diamond shaped torque control which I think is the new Tool control for Monster. Uh, the mic on this isn't too good. I found the mic on the Soul Republic to be much better. Uh, this sort of rubs on your clothes and you can actually hear it through phone calls, which I found a little bit annoying. Uh, the Soul Republic, however, I think the mic much better, much better clarity of sound. Uh, moving on to the sound quality of the, of the turbines, the bass is excellent. Uh, not deep bass. Uh, because I, do, I am a bass head, so it's not deep thumping bass, 
but the base is definitely present. Uh, mids and highs is where this shine. Very, very clear. Clarity is phenomenal. Uh, you love just to hear different songs, other songs that you've haven't, you know, you haven't heard through these before, just to see what they're going to sound like with these. You'll hear instruments, you'll hear things through these that you probably won't hear with other headphones. Um, I think the tips on these, and they do come with, um, they do come with super tips. The super tips are the gel and the foam tips. So this one being the gel tip. Uh, which in comparison to a normal tip you can see there which is supposed to isolate sound uh, make the sound sound better but my favorite is the actual foam the foam tip I found molds onto your ear so it takes the shape of your ear molds it into that shape so then every time you put them in it knows exactly the comfort that it needs to be to be secure and the base that you can generate through these is really really impressive um, so I found out of all the tips my favorites have been the foam tips as soon as these wear out this is what I will be replacing them with the foam I won't, probably won't be getting the gel tips I'll be just sticking with the foam because I found the foam to be so much better as far as base goes through these so oh yeah and the other thing as well I was really super excited about were these the ear hooks so the ear hooks you're supposed to just click in like that um, Put on your ear, put it inside your ear like that, and it's supposed to hold the headphone into place. I struggled with these guys. Could not do it. So I tried it and tried it and tried it, but it just kept slipping out. Um, and that's probably the only thing I found I didn't like with these headphones, if there was one thing. And that is because they are very heavy, they will, you know, if you yawn or chew, they want to pop out. So that's why I found the foam tips to be so much better. They secure in there. Once they're secure in your ear, they won't come out. But that's probably my only um, disappointment with it. The rest of it is fantastic build quality, love it. Saying that, these are about $150 headphones, so you are paying almost double the price of the Soul uh, Republic. But for the extra money, I'll definitely go for these, just for the sound quality. Sound quality alone, these are fantastic. Really, really, really nice. Um, so thanks for watching guys hope you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe uh, I will be reviewing the Sony Pulse wireless headphones on my next review so stay tuned for that and um, yeah thanks for watching again see you next time